Caleb, looky. It's so shiny. You can't have the pumpkin. But I want the pumpkin. You don't need the pumpkin. I want the pumpkin. You don't need the pumpkin. You have so many soaps already. Aren't you clean enough? No. Nope. You could never wash away what you've done, Chelsea. None of these soaps will help with that. I what? I'm so confused. <laughs> Happy Labor Day, everybody! Yeah, unionization! We are on our way to North Carolina for an adventure. Anyway, you're gonna have to excuse me a little bit. I have been sick for over a week. I feel like a garbage person. Not like someone who picks up your trash. A, a person, person made, made of garbage. Of but as we all know, there's only one garbage person. Danny DeVito. And he's a national treasure. I don't know why Hampton has a Dunkin' Donuts and Elizabeth and does not. It really upsets me. There's also a trout farm. A trout farm? A trout farm. It's very difficult to get the trout to drive a tractor, but they do it. There's a proud trout farmer's holiday every year. Lord. I'm just here to make terrible jokes like that, people. My whole purpose. I'm pretty sure it is. I don't think he's wrong. I think they have a waffle sandwich. A waffle witch. A waffle witch. Okay, so we're in Duncan. And Caleb, what did you get? I got a maple sauce and breakfast sandwich. Because it's maple the Belgian waffles. waffles. And oh. Diet Mountain Dew, because now I require it to survive. <laughs> so, what do you think about Belgian waffle sandwich? Puts me in the mind of a McGriddle. Ah. Is it good though? Yeah, it needs like syrup in it. I'll be happy. Mm. And I'm basic, so I got a pumpkin spice latte. Because it's September. <laughs> so we're now in Roan Mountain. We're going to visit the Pelinor Fields War Memorial. I hate you. You're getting nothing but Lord of the Rings jokes until we get out of here. I, I know it's Roan <laughs> in the movie, but cut me some slack. It's the best I've got. Um... Supposedly, there's a lot of ghosts that live up here. Well, yeah, where all those people died. Plus, didn't you see the movie? They had the ghosts to help fight the orcs. You could go somewhere fun like Vegas. There's nothing family friendly about fear and loathing. I hear that's the two main things it has. <laughs> Go to Vegas and do that. We should just react fear and loathing in Las Vegas. We should not do that. I think we can. Nope. We just need to find like a half Samoan lawyer we can hang out with. I'm I'm good. WWE probably has a ton of those. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're in Banner Elk. over here. Which is really cool. I don't know. I don't know if I could retire here. Do they have fishing? Mm-hmm. Hunting? Yeah. Of the most dangerous game? Well, I mean, there are people here. True. You now fishing for the most dangerous game. That's where it's going to get difficult. And also why I banned the YMCA. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah, we are finally in Boone. Boone? Yep. Yep, this is Boone all right. Mountains, there's probably some hippies somewhere around here. <coughs> now we just gotta find and punch them. No. There's college kids because school's back in. Yeah, in App State, which it's like 
weird logo that looks like it's in the army. <laughs> they just had their first football game against Tennessee. Oh. And Tennessee beat them. I don't really know if everyone saw that coming or not. I don't know how this works. Well, Cup State actually has a really good football team. There's still a sagebrush here? What? I thought all of those left. I thought they were all gone. Look over there. There's a sagebrush. What is this madness? <laughs> I thought they were all gone. I thought none of them ever existed. I don't know where the sagebrush is. I've been to significantly more steakhouses than you have. Not a big fan of steak. My dad is. But I've been to significantly more steakhouses than I feel as though all steak could be improved significantly by putting it in some sort of sandwich. <coughs> it's the weird two-story Wendy's. They have a slightly different menu. They do, like, they have a special Carolina burger. I kind of want it. You really want it. Don't say kind of. That's a lie. I do. If I hear a fast food place has a weird menu in another town, I want it. Go into a thrift store! Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this place is doing great right off the bat. Like, this is the nicest Goodwill. There's a violin down there. Hmm. There's a violin for $125. Oh, God. <laughs> hmm. Like, now I just feel the Goodwill at home is inadequate. For some reason, this place has a really, really good board game selection. Like, weird. Why has this place got so many board games? Oh, we found it. Found what happened to John Cena after his last defeat. He's been skinned. Truly a sad day for children everywhere. Chelsea, are you willing to wear John Cena's skin? No. Sure? Yeah. Don't want Hannibal Lecter it? No. Sure? Yeah, that, that's scary. Oh, it's not that scary. You've never worn someone's skin? Mm -hmm. Well, it was a privilege. Can you find Pokemon, Chelsea? Well, I mean, there's Pokemon on every page. I never said it was a hard book, now, did I? Oh, you have to find specific <laughs> ones. Okay. So cute. It's just like, let's find Pokemon. I was Look like, at that art. Ah, there they are. <laughs> nope. Many of those are simply clever cardboard cutouts. It was truly a difficult book. Yeah, you had to find specific ones. Okay. So, after making a brief detour at the Ingles. The Ingles, as I believe it's called. Yep. Um... Our way back on the road. On the road again? Yep. We're not making any music with our friends, though. No, we're no, not. Our friends are musical. Well, some of mine are. Mm -hmm. Like Nick can play the piano and the guitar, I think. For him, he's just the fanciest man in fancy town. Well, he's also a magician. A shifty trickster. You don't actually know if he can play piano or not. But that one big. Made should be a clever illusion. We're here already. Is it attached to a gas station? No. They just like share a parking. <laughs> they, <laughs> they do, and they are not attached to each other by the narrowest of margins. <laughs> they are, yeah. There is a single two by four keeping them apart. Basically, um, but yeah, my phone has been dead. I can't look. Like I picked up some of the recording slack. That footage is going to be real crap. Let me tell you now. I don't know how to oh, use it was this. before this. Mm -hmm. So, they already saw it. You can thank me for that, friends. <laughs> anyway, um, so we're going to go in here and eat some barbecue, even though it's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We've been driving around for forever. Yeah, we're hungry. We walked a lot. I want barbecue. That's kind of like my default state of being, if I'm being honest. Mm -hmm. I always want the cue. But we mostly will try here because their logo is a pig on a bicycle. He's on a little penny farthing. We'll so we're in here. Mm -hmm. It's very loud. It is, but it's so nice. Yeah, I like it. I like it's the pretty much a barbecue place. They have darts. I like the decor. 
It's not like decorative darts either. Those are the darts people use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a whiteboard. See, it's over there. It's really nice. I like it a lot. There's like bicycle lights over there. <laughs> it's really cool. I really like it in here. And Caleb's trying the pulled pork sandwich. And what was your side that you got? Crinkle cut fries. Crinkle cut? Yep. And I got a brisket sandwich and I got sweet potato fries. Did you get any sauce on your pulled pork? I really got the barbecue sauce at the table. Oh, uh, I got honey chipotle sauce for my brisket. Nice. But yeah, I want to try their just normal sauce to see if it's good. Hmm. We've driven past this place a few times. Just actually today. But the last yeah. time we were up through here, we drove past it too. And you wanted to try it that day, but we had Pele with us, so we couldn't. True. It's really hard to trick people into thinking he's a small child. He's just so furry. Huh. He's just so furry. He is. So we had to settle. What did we end up getting for lunch that day? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. This is very hard to eat with Pele in the car. So I think we ended up getting literally nothing for lunch that day. Basically. We got Pele some nuggets though. Pele got some chicken nuggets and people told him he was cute. That's all that matters. Was that Pele got attention and people loved him. He does. Anytime someone says Pele is cute, you just get super happy. Mm -hmm. Am I any, anytime anybody says anything about Pele, he gets very happy. And people love him. People just adore him so much. Well, we got our food and Caleb started eating before it's I could record like he barbecue. always does. Huh? It's really complex. Mm. Oh. It's very sweet at first, but then there's like a slight saltiness undertone to it. Mm-hmm. Like, that is nice. Oh, glad, glad you could tell everyone. I'm not bitter. It's okay. That's fascinating. <laughs> yeah, so Caleb is already bitten into his sandwich and can tell you everything about it. How are the fries? Very good. Anyway, this is what mine looks like. I have not eaten anything from it yet. The sweet potato fries, brisket sandwich. You may have this. It is my gift to you. Thank you. So I did a stupid thing and I um lost the footage for the outro. So um we showed off what we got in Boone and everything, and now it's gone. But here's Pele looking out the window. Pepe. Now he's looking at me like, what are you doing? But, um, yeah. It's gone. And Caleb was, like, the only one that got anything in Boone. So <laughs> and he took it all back to his apartment. So now we have, I have nothing to show you. Um, so, anyway, yeah, we did stuff. Things were done. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. Um, and if you liked it, uh, like, leave us a comment and, uh, subscribe. Bye!